Hey, what's going on? We're going to do some black and white photography today. Uh, it's the middle of winter, so there's not a lot of colors going around. So that's what I typically do sometimes when I want to get out and shoot. Um, and there's not a lot of color. I, I'll just do black and whites. So why not? So um, it's raining. Can you hear that? So I did. I'm going to be shooting this with the Pentax K70. The um, I was going to use the 10 to, to 20 millimeter Sigma. And I'll, I'll still be able to use it. It looks like the sun's coming in, but I'm going to go uh, weather resistant. So I'm going to use the, the K70's weather resistant, and I'm going to use the PLM, the, the 55 to 300, since it's weather resistant as well. But I, I want to show this cool bag I got. It, it goes for a camera, but it fits this. Isn't that cool? Fits the, the PLM really, really well. So anyway, let's get out in this rain and let's take some shots, and uh, I'll show you how to set how I'm, I set my black and whites up and we'll go from there right the rain let up I've got here with the uh, PLM and the K K70 I'm going to show you how to set this up for black and white photography at least the way I do it there's plenty of ways to do it but this is the way I do it shooting in AEV mode here uh, that's typically how I do everything but there's a few things I, I switch when I do black and white stuff so uh, here under info go to that uh, I'm under JPEG right now we're gonna go to DNG um, also um, I'm gonna brighten this up a little bit so we're gonna do exposure compensation and we're gonna go up to a stop overexposed by a stop so what that will do is it will like make those whites really stand out a little bit more um, and I find it easier to edit when I've overexposed like that especially for black and white now for the last thing, what we're going to do is we're going to go in here all the way up and we're going to look at our custom image and move it from natural to black and white. And you might be saying, well, you're going to do just, you could just convert it to black and white in your editor. What this does, it kind of gives me like a, a preview of, uh, of what it will look like. And as you can see here, when I take this picture, you'll see that over there, we'll take a picture here and see what it looks like see it's it's black and white there but when you actually throw this into your editor well into Lightroom at least it's gonna it will uh, show the thumbnail is black and white but then when you actually load it into the develop module it will take it back to the original raw flat image so you'll still you'll have color there if you want to do a color image out of it you still have that capability but you can get it in the camera now and kind of see what it might look like in black and white and it's a it's a little tip i use it helps me out so there are some birds over here we're gonna go check them out get a few of those shots and then i'll throw this 10 to 20 on we'll get some more uh, landscape-esque type of uh, shots i probably want f8 here just because they're gonna get some depth of field here let me see if i get here You see that? Looks pretty good. Uh, eh, not so good, but we're getting there. I'm sure we'll get a couple of good ones out of this. There's also some seagulls down here. What do they call those? They all hang out at Walmart, <laughs> in the Walmart parking lot. I can't remember what they call them, but I don't know why there's always seagulls in Walmart parking lot. But anyway, let's get down low here. Try to get a good shot. Maybe we get some of them flying off. Come on, turn around, look at me. Come on, somebody. Oh, he's going to hide his eye there, huh? Anyway. That wasn't that good. Like I said, uh, New Year's resolution, I shouldn't have taken that shot. I knew it wasn't going to be a good one. Why'd I take it? <clears throat> I should have been, been more patient and waited on the bird. Yeah, here we go. To turn around. There we go. A little better. And that's basically how I'm going to do this. Do these shots. Well, let's switch it up since it stopped raining. And we'll put on the the 10 to 20 Sigma and get some shots with it. 
All right, we're good to go. Take that off. There. All right, let's see here. Nice clouds in the sky. Look at that. That will do one this way. Always kind of switch it up. Those might turn out pretty good. Got F8 on that. Now let's take some pictures of some other stuff. There's some boats over here. We'll go take some pictures of the boats with this wide angle and see what we can get. Now I'm, I'm only going to be out here for like 30 minutes because uh, the family's getting ready to go shopping. So I was like, oh, I could use 30 minutes to go take some pictures. So, uh, yeah. So you can get some great images. It's just always bring your camera with you and always be ready to shoot. Let's see if I get bit by this guy. Come here. Come here, Mr. Goose. Nah, I don't want to get bit today. <laughs> Let me see here. Oh, yeah. That's nice. We've got some reflection off the water. That sun is behind the clouds right now. Look at that. That's pretty good. I'm looking at the and I'm horrible about getting stuff uh, level. So I'm looking at the leveler inside the uh, inside the camera. This 10 to 20, I tend to be at closer out to the 20 a lot of times because that that 10 millimeter is like super super wide so we'll see what we got here oh yeah that was a nice contrasty got the bright sky and the dark there yeah it's gonna look good There's some old tires here. You got it backlit there. Let's see if I can get a. Kind of different. Different than what I normally do. Here's some nice canoes. We're going to go super wide on this. And. Kind of different. I just get creative with it. That's the the thing what else we got some boats over here we'll rent these out go over here look at this tree it's kind of cool look at all those all that woods shaped I can use that and kind of go off of it and let's see good thing about K70 I could line up my shot a little bit better. Okay, here we go. Let's take this shot real quick. This might be kind of cool. Let's see. Line out. all right it's been about 30 minutes so we're gonna go over here and take a picture of this mural that they just finished that's really cool um, i actually might do this one last one in color just because it's so colorful all right here you have it i'll just walk by it and you can see it cool mural huh It, this took like a month for the for them to paint it was just uh one girl she had a helper with her but pretty cool image we'll see what we get here get wide out here f8 oh yeah we've got the the sky there kind of cool thanks for watching go ahead and subscribe took all these shots in like 30 minutes so a lot of fun. Get out there and shoot. Thanks.